This is a tool that has been a long time in coming. I've been wanting to do this for a while and just never got around to it. Luckily, I have a great research assistant, Matt James, who has helped me create this Excel tool for screening your data for unengaged respondents. Typically, what you'd have to do is go look at your data, check for patterns visually, and hope you don't miss anything. It's kind of hard because detecting visual patterns with a bunch of numbers is very difficult. So we created a little macro that if you paste your Likert data in here, again, this doesn't work for all data, just Likert scales, like 1 to 5, 1 to 7, something like that. If you paste that data in here and hit Evaluate Rows, what it will do is it will look for any anomalies in patterns. And so in this case, it detected six errors, and it's flagged those. Let me just hit OK. And it says this row is a constant row, meaning it is the same number all the way across, just threes. Cool. Oh, same in this one, all ones. This one is a binary row, so it's just repeating pattern, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. It might be 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, something like that. There's a high-low scale, 1, 5, 1, 5. Increasing scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And decreasing scale, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, and it will look for these patterns, which are common patterns when somebody's just taking your survey uh, to get done with the survey, to do it quickly. It won't detect all anomalies, it can't detect random responses yet, and there's no guarantee it will detect every unengaged response. But it will at least detect these three or four or five, however many types we, we have here. And this is just a tool to inform you so that when you go back to your data in SPSS or wherever you're housing your data, you can know that row five, or whichever row it might be, has problems and you can go delete that in your data set. I recommend against deleting it here in Excel because that won't change your data set and when you copy and paste this data back into SPSS or wherever you're storing your data, uh, you'll have mismatches if you've only copied across the Likert scale data because you may have other things like gender and industry and experience that are not Likert and that wouldn't follow some sort of pattern. So uh, this is really just an information only tool. You can go and take this back to your data set and uh, take actions accordingly. For example, I would go back to my data set and I would delete this row because it's useless. There's no variance. This is updated on the StatWiki on the homepage. Feel free to download and use at your leisure.